Welcome back everyone to Train Simulator Pro USA and in this video all maintenance way work has been completed and we also have a brand new locomotive a G GP Express unit which uh I can't remember what what railroad it's based off of but it's coming to our fleet on the uh on the uh, Go Track Express but uh we also got our very first livestock car and that's about it and in this game or mission or whatever it's called uh we do have assistance now but the only thing is guys i don't know how to make that work how did i do that Okay, by an assistant. Okay, uh, guess I'll buy, uh, the cheap one. This guy, squad. So, I'm going to give him the charger, and then this P40 at the rear. Save squad. Select new mission. Okay, so I guess I'll start that mission for him. I free ride. So basically, I guess this means you can just like drive around. I guess I have no idea. I honestly don't have any idea what this stuff is. So I'm going to be taking a look at it later. But for right now, I need Mooney because I just literally spent it all. So we're going to test out the uh, F units because I just got word that they've been fixed. Hopefully. It's been so long since I played this game that I don't remember how to play it.
Still no bell in this update. I don't know why I keep expecting it for a bell. Let me actually turn on my cab lights. So I'm just going to take a look at the map. Mission. Show tasks. I got some wood logs on my train, so that could get me an achievement or some more uh, gems. Like I said, I haven't played this game a whole lot recently. One, because we were doing uh, some maintenance of way work on all the bridges, so that way it could support our heavier freight trains. And two, I was kind of waiting for an update, and it finally came out today. So, expect a uh, daily upload on this game from now on. Uh... But yeah, I still don't understand the purpose of free ride and uh, the assistance thing. I don't understand the purpose of that. But uh, once I find out more about that stuff, I will post a video on that stuff. And we got a local tanker train leaving Vancouver Yard filled with Ace Town, probably for a uh, Aberdeen train. Port. Go down for that fifteen. I don't know if they changed it in the update, but this F7 unit sounds nice. The horn's still the same from what I remember. Disconnect. So yeah, I don't understand the purpose of this. I guess that means it will be available in like a 17 hours. So I think he's going to travel back and forth between Vancouver and uh, Wenatchee. But now I actually want to take a look at uh, some of the passenger missions. We're... Okay, so Oh, so you go into a passenger mode 
and uh, you have to look for the depot. Like the Washington depots up here were uh were uh, da, 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 da. that that explains it now. So where's the Oregon Depot then? Oregon Depot is by Bend Chemical Factory. Okay, so all that makes sense now. Okay, but first I want to go to the shop. Trains. And I want to purchase this bad boy. Because I want to see what he looks like. Wait, hold on. Achievements. Economy. Buy five passenger locomotives. Okay, select mission. Passenger run. Yeah, we could do this one. Oh, it even shows like the locomotives are being used by the, your assistants. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, oh, it even tells you that cars are being used. Okay, and just for the sake of it, I'm going to add this locomotive at the rear. Now we'll drive. Pretty well detailed, actually. Here's what the horn sounds like. Nice sounding horn. Now, oops. hear the engine. Engine start off sounded good. Now let's take a look at the cab. Okay, so it's a little, I think the button, horn for the button's busted, because it's already pushed down, but my press it rises up. That's not how that works. Okay, there's your brake system. Alright, let's get this train moving then. Not one of the most detailed cabs, but it is a pretty good looking locomotive. Wow, the brakes are amazing on it too. All right, time to load everyone up. Okay, close all the doors. And let's go to, uh, where are we going again? Kenwick. This engine sounds nice, I have to say. This track that we're currently on is the freight and passenger loop track.
and that thing you heard in the background was my scanner going off. So let me uh, increase the speed a bit. Did they fix this bug for passenger trains? They did. Get this train to Kenwick. Up oh, and it's raining too. The so wipers and headlights fuck short. Let's ditch lights. One one five. One 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 five. Eleven fifteen. Let me go into the cab, see if they fix that lag issue. The wipers sound different inside. And it looks like they kind of fixed the lag issue, but not totally 100%. Nah, well. But what I'm most disappointed is that this locomotive has a bell, and yet there is no bell option. Wait, there's not even a thing inside of the bell, it looks like. So after I'm done with this mission, I'm going to park this train in uh, the Kenwick uh, Automobile Factory, so that way I can get started with my day, actually, in real life.
there goes one of our uh, fallen flag units of the Utah and Arizona Railroad. You got a bunch of those. There goes the local train. Now here's the thing that I don't know guys, I don't know if you can, can drive uh, trains to the Washington Depot. That's uh, something I do not know. But uh, I will continue to play this game and I will continue to find uh, like the up understand the updates, understand free ride and understand the assistance assistance a lot more and uh, I'll do my best to help support you guys uh, so if you have any questions currently let me know down in the comments section below and speaking of comments make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe as I am on the road to 500 subscribers um, first off I just want to say, say thank you all so much for the support over the years and uh, it really means a lot to me and I hope you guys can continue to enjoy my content that I bring. But yeah, this is our new locomotive to join the uh, Washington and Maryland, or not the Washington and Maryland, the Go Track Passenger Express Service on the on the Maryland and Western Pacific Railroad. They are two different uh, railroads, Go Track and the Maryland and Western Pacific, but the Maryland and Western, Western Pacific owns all the equipment and everything, and we just haven't found use for it. And then we decided to create our passenger service, Go Track. But well, that might change, and it might become part of the uh, Maryland and Western Pacific Railroad. I still wish that there was an option to run a uh, train uh, long code forward. 
So that's something I would really like to see. Is so that way we can run our trains long code forward. But from what I'm seeing right now from, from the assistants, I think they're meant to help us with passenger missions. Okay, so here we are in the beautiful Kenwick Yard. Ooh, slow down too much. Alright, prepare your eyes everyone, because I'm going to turn on the front long lights. That doesn't even activate the high beam beams. Lame, lame, a oh, lame. Okay, open the door. Get all my money. That's not a bit bad of cash either. Let's take a quick look at free ride. Hmm. So, I'm going to create just this locomotive. Do this. Uh, we'll use a GP7. And then. Cargo, GP7, save squad, uh, and then I'll just go down to this, I guess. Or I'll just drive with this lone GP7. I still don't understand that this whole po point of free ride. Oh, wait, I'm at the... Wait, where even am I? Map. I'm at the Washington Depot. So I guess all free rides start here. And I guess this is like the engine shed and the yard is over there. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so you can come in here, but I think it's only in free ride. Or free roam, or whatever. Alright, so let's cancel the free ride. Can I squad? Can I... Now, the question is, can I still select it? Selected that locomotive that I use in free ride. No, no, no. I'm just curious right now, guys. You can't. Huh. I wonder if that's a thing to change for the future. So I'm just going to use the uh, F40 PHI locomotives as a, the f free drive because I don't use them as much anymore as I do with the uh, GP GP7s.
Yeah, see, they're all, they're not available now. That's kind of cool and stupid at the same time. And then, uh, you know, like I said, for assistance, I guess it's going to take 16 hours. And the, then, uh, I honestly don't know what's going to be a what. But this is going to do it for this episode on Train Simulator Pro USA. Uh, I am going to try to play around some more off recording and figure out this stuff. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section. And make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day.